Jim scoring 143 against the Jerk Store with 104. Again, a lot of whining about this one at the bar. Not so much whining as she showed me Brady. Well, he's only doing this much. She was just playing possum with Brady 21, Murray 28, Blunt. Nobody want to hit that 20. Evans 23. Insanity there. Jerk Store, um, boy, can't get it going a lot like uh, your Lacey with Hillman with point one. Point one. That's almost le that's almost more embarrassing than zero. Um, <laughs> Wallace with 1.4. It's been a rough year for Crystal. Uh, I'm sure she will recover. She bet on some bad uh, some bad horses that just didn't get out of the gate to run, and uh, we'll see how she does next year. But uh, it's been it's been a learning experience. I'm sure not a fun one for her, but I guarantee you this is not going to be. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, she's yeah, absolutely. She's she, she's going to be coming back strong, and she had a great time there on Sunday Good. as well, in spite of her score. So who's up next? Uh, and even her, though her records not show it, yes, she's a gamer. She's setting her lineup every week. I yep. like people who participate, so yep. uh, it's still a success in my book. Next, the the what, 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 what do we call it? The jinx, the whatever has been broken. Voldemort before he threatens to rename his team has broken the spell, the Aculi Wino Ropero, uh, whatever <laughs> spell was on him, and he does win with the team name of Voldemort, and maybe he's got a chance to make it into the postseason. He was able to defeat the powerful punishment due 149 to 127. Absolutely, my man, and this was great because uh, Jason shared in the in the funny uh, uh, diatribe about Voldemort and his name at the bar when uh, Joe was telling the story about how he didn't know who Voldemort was. Jason's like, I don't either. I don't speak nerd. So, <laughs> so he had a good one with that one. Um, but yeah, Voldemort comes in big with Big Ben, who injured 27. Uh, Delaney Walker, 32. That's a big day. Uh, Vereen, Marshall, and Johnson all around 14. And Sneed, Sneaky Sneed out of New Orleans with 15.5. Finally take down that evil monster known as the Punishment Duke. In spite of Andy Dalton with 27. Lamar Miller, 33. Des Bryant with 23 in this year that he got in a trade. And McFadden with 15. So congrats, Voldemort. Thank you for taking Todd down even one notch. That was that brought joy to my normally bitter heart. Next up, that's it for our games, right? Yep, is standing. So if you want to get your paperwork together for transactions, I'll go over the standings, and we finally have some separation. We have teams alone in first, second, and third in this order. The Smashers are Jackal and Hyde atop the entire league at eight and one, only one loss. Uh, then we've got the Punishment Due, alone in second at 7-2. and two. And then the Ralph Wiggum Experience, two Devlins in the top three. Oh. He's at 6-3. and three. Next, we have a three-way tie for fourth with Van Hooten, the Mouseketeers, and the Braille Bombers, two Dickies in that second little group. Uh, one two-way tie for seventh, the Wild Poopers in Baltimore. Two-way tie for ninth with yours truly <laughs> falling to three and six. And I am with Chalupa Batman also at three and six. And then finally a tie for last place. We've got the Jerk Store at two and seven. And bringing up the rear, a team that's nearly 45 points away from scoring 1,000 for the season, the Malibu Stacys struggling. Struggling, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it is a race to the finish. We've only got, what, two more weeks left, and then it's playoff time. So the race tightens. It gets more exciting for everybody, and uh, I cannot wait to see how this is going to play out because uh, there's a lot in the middle there that could go one way or the other. So uh, hey, I'm, nothing's uh, Can you remind us how many teams go to playoffs? Uh, you know what? Is it eight teams? I, I'm going to have to defer to uh, Mr. – actually, you know what? Hold on a second. I can tell you right now. Hold on. It'll tell us in here if I go to – Think it's projected playoff, playoff bracket. Let's look here. The top eight. Shut up! It's two, four, six, eight. eight. Yeah, so it's eight teams. Okay, get ready for this. If it's the top eight, Camp Krusty, Chalupa, Jerkstore, and Malibu are all out. Everybody else is in. Yes, absolutely. As of right now, so man, I need to make moves. I need two wins. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's a race to two. All right, let's. Is what it is. Let's talk about the pickups. Not a lot to talk about. Not a whole lot of activity. Not nothing contested actually. The only two that were of any significance, at least dollar wise, was uh, Mom picked up Marcus Mariota, my old quarterback, and Graham Gano, I think, is a fill-in kicker. Voldemort did pick up De Devin Funches, bunches of Funches in Carolina, and the rest I believe were all fill-ins at a dollar a piece for everybody. People plugging in uh, uh, defenses and kickers and such. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So nothing huge there, I believe. Um, let's get to the next week. Oh, and a couple of other updates. I, I am I am remiss in what I'm supposed to send out. So i got to send out a couple things. I'll give you the dates now, and I will send something out tomorrow. First is the Rib Fest get-together, which I believe is the 22nd. I believe that's Sunday the 22nd. When you'll be in town, correct? Yeah. Right. So it'll be in my house. I'll send it out. We'll do like a potluck thing. Come over all day or part of the day, whenever you want to. We'll be hanging in my house all day. Then, of course, we have the turkey bowl, which I'll send out. Everybody's amped yeah. up for that. Jason said he may travel north to play that, so get ready. Bring your cleats. All right. Bring all those. Right. We're going to need it. Pack those cleats. I don't want you slipping out there and complaining about wet grass. Um <laughs> And uh, that's it for now, I think, at least for the updates for our for our little get-togethers. And uh, well, why don't you remind the league about Melinda's little thing? Oh yes, thank you. So on December six, Melinda's going to have a get-together at her house. I believe she replied to the entire league, inviting everybody. So please show up. I'm sure she would love to have everybody over there. Again, it's just going to be a potluck thing. Everybody's going to be hanging at the house all day watching football. So uh, come one, come all. It should be fun. Thank you. A lot of fun. This league, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. All right. Week 10. Oh, get into snap. it. Week 10. Two left. Let's get it on. Where are we starting? It's a big one. Where are we first starting? Up, well, first we'll start with Camp Krusty because that's the default on my app. I go against the Wild Poopers. 